right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan, developer of ZOA, and I wanted to show you how to use ZOA on the Mac uh, with Ableton. Unfortunately, you know, Ableton doesn't actually support uh, the Audio Unit version 3 plugin yet, but we can use ZOA um, with Ableton and even keep it in sync uh, just from a standalone app perspective. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just open the standalone app, Apple Spacebar, and open up ZOA. And what I'm going to do, I want to keep ZOA in sync with Ableton, so I'm going to make sure that Ableton Link is enabled. I'm going to click on this button up here, and I'm going to just enable Ableton Link. And I'm also going to make sure that Sync Start Stop is enabled and then I can click done and I'm just gonna drag this over uh, here to another window and pop back on over to Ableton so what let's do is um, let's actually connect up the MIDI so uh, I'm gonna go to Ableton Live's preferences and I'm gonna click on this link MIDI over here I'm gonna make sure that the link toggle is set to show and that start stop sync is set to on and when I come down here I should see these inputs from ZOA these are ZOA's virtual ports and we can turn those on and off here as we wish and I'm just going to use ZOA's all outs and I'm going to make sure that track is on because that's where the the note messages uh, will be sent so with that setting set up the way it is let's exit out of that and I'll just drag a simple analog instrument onto this MIDI channel. And what I'll do is I'll set the MIDI to be from ZOA's All Outs. I'm going to enable Link. And if I just press play, I should hear uh, ZOA come right in and play this analog instrument. and hitting stop is going to stop ZOA. If I go back over, I'll uh, notice I was hearing the sidekick synth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this uh, sidekick synth and disable that. And you'll notice the these MIDI destinations, these, um, these ones aren't really going to work. I haven't had too much success making these work. Um, although I notice they do work with like the Moog apps. Uh, so what we want to do in the case of the um, the standalone on Mac with Ableton is we want to use this virtual outs selection here. And then you know I can even hit play from ZOA and I'll hear Ableton start and change the tempo. So one thing that's really great too is that you know we're going to be right in sync with Ableton's clock. So yeah, I've got this little drum kit beat. So really cool. It's not quite a plugin type experience. We can only have one instance of ZOA running, but we do have pretty good routing ability using Ableton's routing. And with Ableton Link, we're able to actually stay in sync uh, with Ableton's grid. So that's the way to use ZOA uh, right now with Ableton. Uh, let me know if you're trying this out, how it works for you, what you're doing with it. I love to see what people are doing with ZOA. And you know, maybe, hopefully in the future, um, Ableton will begin to support the AUV3 plugin type, but right now it's really just the Apple hosts on macOS that are doing that. I think also Reaper does. Uh, so let me know if you ever try ZOA with Reaper. But anyways, I uh, hope people just uh, found this helpful and hope you have a good rest of your day making music.